Okay, everyone, I'm going to try this again. So I tried it with the vial and it was really hard to see. So now I'm going to try it with this larger glass. I'm going to put some cold blue water on the bottom. Ooh. Ah! Um, you really, so you have to be careful. Like I kind of move too quickly. I'm going to put some more on the bottom just so we can get a lot. So we can... See if it will travel up. All right, so I just, this water is like boiling, so I don't know if I can put it right next to it and anything will happen, or if I should put it in this bag. We'll okay. Let me get some water. It's really, really hot. It was boiling when I got it out of the microwave, so I'm gonna, Put that in my bag, okay, and then we're going to see ow, if we can see it traveling up the side. If I put it down near the bottom. Um. might take a little while but I do see it starting to rise so remember we were doing the hot water challenge to see what would happen if we added hot water to the side of the cold water I'm gonna put some more in there oh I definitely can see that it has risen I think you can see it a little bit coming up Oh yeah, it's like almost all the way up to the top, but I'm just going to put a little bit more hot water so we can get some more drastic results for you at home trying to see what, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. You should be able to see it. You can see the blue at the top. How did the blue get to the top? Okay, you can't really see what's happening here on the side, but obviously the water was at the bottom it has risen to the top. Okay, it's rising to the top. You can kind of see faintly like it's coming up the side. It's rising to the top. It's going across. And then it's starting to do something in the middle. If you watch down at the middle, you should be able to see that it's starting to kind of go down. It's starting to sink back down. So, oh, this is wonderful that this is happening. In the little vial, you couldn't really see it. Okay, I'm actually, I was trying to make a mess. I should have sealed that up. Okay, the water is coming out of the Ziploc now, but you can see that it, it is rising it's gone across the side and it's not making it all the way across. It's starting to come back down. Now, if I did this for a really long time and maybe I had like an even warmer heat source, um, it would start to kind of come down and then circle back up and around again. Okay, so what's happening here is called and yes, you should be able to see that right there in the middle. Um, so again, I don't know if I can move this a little closer. I don't want to like mess it up, but just so you can see it a little bit better. Um, basically, again, let me review. We put cold water down on the bottom um, and it is more dense. Remember, cold water is more dense than room temperature water, so it stayed at the bottom. But when we put warm water on the side of it, you'll notice I didn't do it on the other side, only on the side that was warm, it began to rise. So why does it begin to rise? It begins to rise because warmer water is less dense than room temperature water, right? So it would float. To rise mean it would float. But why, when it got to the top, 
did it start to go back down again? Why is it coming back down again? Well, that's because at the top, it's um, colder, so it, it cools off. So then it's going to sink again because it's becoming cold again. So what's happening here is something called a convection current. It's not really a circular flow yet, but if I had kept the hot water there and after this got to the bottom, it may rise again and become a circular flow. So that is called a convection current, which is a circular, circular flow in a fluid, either liquid or gas. So again, what has happened is we put the hot water to the side, okay? and the cold water began to rise because it's becoming less dense. It's becoming warmer, so it becomes less dense. When it gets to the top, it starts to cool off again. So it gets heavier, it gets more dense, and it starts to fall again. When it gets to the bottom, if I would have kept that heat source, it may have started to create a convection current or a circular flow. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go back to the Google class assignment and you're going to fill in. Um, you're going to fill in what happened during the demonstration and what a convection current is. What did you learn?